This will also challenge Pakistan. 20th and final over. Starts with a boundary. What a stroke. Abbas Afridi has done camp for all ends up, but somehow he's got the bat up right in front of his face to get it away for four more. Wow. Simply wow. This is superb batting. Look at the innovation, the improvisation, but more than that, the character and the courage to do oh. that. How he got himself into that position, but still was able to put the bat down. Well, incredible, incredible bravery from Curtis Camfer. Seven a win off five. Swing and a miss. Make it seven off four. What an opportunity for both these young men, both still in their early 20s. Camfer feels like he's been around longer than that. Who will hold their nerve? Will it be Abbas Afridi in his first year in the international game, or will it be Curtis Camfer? Yeah, Ireland is favourite right now. You'd have to say this. Abbas Afridi needs to produce one of his trademark back of the hand slow delivery but he cannot go wrong in terms of line and length it has to be a perfect execution with deception as well and Pakistan need a wicket well, the man at deep third has gone back long on is out too four in the circle still towards that man at long on I don't think he's got it out of the middle can Delaney get back for the second oh Afridi very, very slow to that. Abbas Afridi can't believe what Shaheen has done. It's five to win off three. It's going right down to the wire. Great running. You would think that you won't chance Shaheen's arm. And it's not a big boundary as well. Really got off the blocks really quickly, Delaney. It was his call coming to the non-striker end, the danger end. In the end, Shaheen had to throw to the keeper's end because Delaney had covered the distance so quickly. Looks for the block hole. Skews off an inside edge, runs to the rope. Hits the rope. Ireland, they level the scores. They sense history. Maybe one of their biggest T20 wins of all time. It can only be a super over now for Pakistan. Ireland, stand on the brink. Yeah, Pakistan in the field, their shoulders slumped. And most of their crowds here in this stand, they really have cheer them on but not to be it looks like it a full toss an inside edge anything would do for Ireland but credit goes to them because they put themselves into this position Nassim Shah has not got up onto his feet after that dive you have a substitute on the field it's Irfan Khan Niazi coming on and Nassim this is not a good side for Pakistan not in terms of the scorecard and not in terms of the visual you see with Nassim Shah not getting up onto his feet he had only just recovered from that shoulder injury, yeah, which that... sustained from a similar-looking dive back in Asia Cup. Oh, physio's over for treatment. Let's hope he's OK. He looks like he is moving. The scores are level. Ireland just need one run. Any run will do. It's Camfer, the hero, right now. But he's building on Balberni and, indeed, Dockrell, too. They're going to scamper a single. And Ireland... Go 1-0 up. It's a leg boy. They won't mind what it is. It's a historic victory. You can add Clonturf to the list of the Melbourne Cricket Ground. The Chinazwame in 2011. Nelson in 2015. And indeed against Pakistan back in Sabina Park in 20, 2007. That game we discussed. What a win. They take it by five wickets with just one ball to spare. Ireland victorious. They are indeed and they deserve it. Only a leg by the winning run. But any which way will do for Ireland. They put up a great fight set up by splendid display in the field. Their ground fielding was terrific. They threw themselves around. Terrific catches and run outs as well. And when it came to the run chase, after a slow and sluggish start, they really recovered through Captain Belberni. And the finish was absolutely scintillating. It went all the way down to the wire. One delivery to spare. Pakistan will ponder hard. They've only got away with a two-all series victory at home against a weakened New Zealand side. 
And now coming here and getting a defeat <laughs> at the hands of Ireland. Incredible well, scenes. Handshakes in the crowd. One Pakistan fan congratulates an Irish one and it'll be warm handshakes on the field now. Pakistan, well, they've been given a massive warning sign ahead of next year, next month's T20 World Cup. These two will meet in the very final Group A game in Florida. It could be a Super 8 spot on the line, but one thing's for certain, that's as big as a win as Ireland have ever taken really here on home soil, certainly in this format. A memorable day for the Irish fans, the sellout crowd that packed this historic Castle Avenue venue. And Ireland have taken the win and you'd have to